It may seem that we are entering an underground secret tunnel, but the truth is we are entering the biggest brothel in Bangladesh, Dolodia. <laughs> Golanda rail station is just after crossing Arisha channel to the north of Dhaka. Just in front of that, this brothel is made up of small shacks made of tin. Officially, the number of sex workers is 1600, but in reality, the number is much higher, which is estimated to be around 7000. Shumi is one of them. <laughs> I took a lot of heaven. I have no heaven now. Can I put a shard of cat through? Kiki shows somebody to go to Bolva. My mother only puts him in the car. Came out of a she. Can no Kiki Carone Mare. Kazna Kulamare. Shumi is 12. She used to live in Kapashia near Taka. She has a mom, two sisters and a brother. One day, she met this lady in a shrine in Mirpur. Her name is Shanti. She is her brothel mother and caretaker now. She keeps a close watch on Shumi so that Shumi can't escape. Shumi was drugged and brought here. Her family does not know her whereabouts. According to the UN, every day a million children are sold in Asia. But not even the estimated number of the children sold in Bangladesh is known to any organization. This village itself is a small city. Many people are involved in it and make their living from it. Shumi's brothel mom charges 200 taka per client, which is about three dollars. But Shumi doesn't even get a cent. Children are the main attraction in the Lodia brothel. There is no one in Dolodia who can stop this sex trade or even try. Not the government or any NGO. There are some NGOs who educate the children of the sex village and provide the health care. But no one seems to be working to stop this sex trading. The story up to this stage was broadcasted in SVT, a Swedish TV channel, on 14th April 2012. This story could end here, but I promised Shumi that I will rescue her. But how? 
We must find Shumi's real mother first. I went to Kapashia with a friend. We found Shumi's mother after two days. Shumi's real name is Rani. The day when the first part of this story was aired in the Swedish TV, we went to call on the police station with Rani's mother, brother, step-grandmother and her aunt. We found Rani's real birth certificate and gave some pictures of Rani to her mother. The police acted positively. Their force went with us to the brothel. আমরা তো দেখলাম আপনি বন্দি করে রাখছেন Due to some government rules, we had to leave Rani and her mother with the police in Dolodia. They will come home tomorrow. We were smiling, but our smile did not last long when we confronted the reality. <laughs> I got worried, so I went back to Kapashia to see how Rani was. There, I faced ill behavior from her neighbors. Rani was facing this on a regular basis. There are thousands of adolescents like Rani in 70 brothels of Bangladesh. Some men have high demand of children. Every day the children are facing inhuman torture. No one is there to stand beside them. This documentary can't be aired in Bangladesh for the inevitable social problem of Rani's family.
we need to create awareness against childhood sex abuse and sex trade. Many children, like Ronnie, are subjected to this torture. It must end. Thank you for watching.